Come on, Cannonball. This is how you hit him in the face. Oh, 16. Oh my god. It's a two-hit KO. No, he's back up. Come on, Cannonball. Don't let him insult you this way. No, don't let him stun you either. Oh, he's gassed out. Hit him. It's a knockout. It's a knockout. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Boxing School. I'm your host, the Birdman known as Falcon. This right here is a Boxing School simulation tycoon type game. So let's get into Boxing School here, get the ball rolling and see what we can do. Alrighty, so welcome to Boxing School. I should also mention as well, if you guys enjoyed this, want to see a bit more, let me know in the comments am I leaving a thumbs up on that video and we shall do a bit more. So today you decided to buy your own gym and start you in your career as a boxing manager. Good luck. So we have a thousand in our pocket, we got a gym, and we get to recruit one fighter right here as well. What is the name of your boxing gym? Well, just because we're doing their entire Rocky thing, this'll be uh, Mickey's. Mickey's Gym. Ah, you gotta get him, Rocco. You gotta get up. I think that's how you spell Mickey. It's kind of like Mickey Mouse, but I don't think he was Mickey Mouse. He was too, too angry and gruff to be Mickey Mouse. So we start off over here. We got Tommy Cannonball Miller. We got Rex Big Bear Johnson, Mike Blue Serpent Tyler, and Joe Hurricane Silver. Um, this is also this also takes place in the '80s, so I think keep that in mind because we might see a lot of like '80s references and like music and stuff like that. Um, so we got Punching Power, Slugger Tank, Defensive Master, and Nonstop Aggression as a Swarmer. It is recommending that I choose Tommy the Cannonball Miller. So you know what? Let's just start off with that. I don't mind having a punching power guy. Eventually, we'll try to build ourselves up like a counter puncher, a really good one. And like, you know, Rocky, that was a specialty, like just counter punching. You know, he wasn't the strongest out there, but he had heart. And he looked for weaknesses. That's what Rocky was all about. So Mickey's Gym, payment per fight will be $250 for this fella. And we got to pay him $40 a week as well. Let's go ahead and sign this bad boy. Sign him, I said. Okay. So we have three sets of equipment to start off with. And we'll start off in the minor circuit as well. The champion at the moment is going to be Henry Thunderbolt Maynard. 29 wins, 0 losses. He's defended his title 8 times. Pretty good for that bad boy. He's also a swarmer fighter too. Something to keep in mind, I would say. So, manager task. Click to select boxer. Okay. So let's click our boy over here. He's going to start off with 1 point for us to give off. So, drop it into Dynamite Fist. Increase damage by 20%. And let's see. Red... Uh, let's go ahead and um, go to the locker here, and let's switch this over to a nice little blue to start off with. Assign training. Okay, so what do we have? We only have Dreadmill. Go for it, buddy. You start working up on that stamina right here. At the moment, you're a 20, 10, 5, and a 6. Send Boxer home to rest. Well, how about you let him go through his stamina first, and then we'll send him off to rest. There it is. So he's done right there. He's tired. He was basically on that treadmill for like 10 seconds, or maybe even less, honestly. And he's already tired, so I have a feeling that my boy is um, probably a very compulsive smoker or something. You are now a licensed boxing manager registered to compete in the lowest competition called the Minor Circuit. There are currently 1,536 amateur and semi-pro boxers competing in the Minor Circuit. Your job is now to train your first recruit, Cannonball, and get him ready to fight in the ring. Okay, so let's click Career Progress right here. And preparing for the fight. Prepare a boxer for fight. 22 of 100. So just have them train randomly, you're telling me? Okay. Well, um, let's go ahead and just go back to stamina. I think stamina's not a bad thing to have just because in a fight, if you're out of stamina, obviously you won't be able to swing. But more importantly, I believe stamina also dictates how often or how long you train for before you have to stop training because you're too tired. So that's good. He's a 39 of 100 now. Let's go ahead and send him home. This is also highlighted over here. Should I do this now, or are you, like, teaching me about the ropes? I'm gonna wait. I think we could drop a point into my own research. So we could get veteran staff, hire veteran staff to assign a boxer. Training boost would be very good, though. I'm gonna get that now. Uh, training boost, if, it, if it's like any other of their old games, essentially every now and then you get to click a training boost if it pops up, and he'll train faster for less stamina for a while. So it's not asking me to do that just yet, but hey, it's there. Why not? We have a fight already. Something tells me that we probably are not going to win this first fight. I mean, we haven't really trained him other than just, like, stamina a little bit here. He's fit for the fight, but I really doubt that we could win this one, but hey, let's give it a try. Hit to the head reduces the health and damage. Right. Oh, the pow the, the damage of the, the, the other boxer. Okay. And hit to the body reduces stamina and speed. Hit and block costs stamina, of course. So this is our first fight. 
We're going up against Jeffrey Morrison. Okay, so this guy's got 10 more HP than we do. Roughly same stamina, same speed. He's got more damage power than we do. It's not exactly like unwinnable, but chances are we'll probably lose it. I feel strong today. Should I knock him out quickly? Oh, you, you, that's the, that's the right mentality to have. I'll tell you that much. Well, here's the thing. If we're going to win this, I think we have to win this as soon as possible. So let's just focus on head attacks and your defense. You don't, I, we haven't even unlocked defense just yet. So you know what? I'm going to send you out there like a glass cannon. Just try to knock this dude out as soon as possible. You either knock him out or you're going to go down. Okay, he took me to the body. Got him to the head. That's fine. He's taunting. Good, good, good. Let him taunt. Yeah, yeah, hit him in the face when he's taunting you. Okay, that hurt. Come on, cannonball. No, he, he blocked it. You got to duck and weave. He's taunting. Get him with the right or the left. Whichever one works for you. Oh, your stamina's gone, though. Look at you. I've told you to stop smoking so much. Look, you're gassing out in the middle of the fight. You actually had a chance. You were saved by the bell like you're Zach Morris. Okay. Well, it's rough out there, boss. What should I do? Well, maybe quit smoking for one. Well, let's start this round. Again, I don't really expect us to win this fight. I'm pretty sure more often than not, you actually do lose it. It's probably a slight chance you could win if you get like the proper RNG. Now, mind you, this right here, I'm not controlling it myself. This is all kind of like AI based on the things that you slide left or right. So we did go down. So we did lose the first fight, that's fine, but we got some much needed experience, which is all good. Continue. How you doing here, buddy? You lost? Yeah, I know, that's fine. Don't worry. We're starting off here, we'll turn you into a monster yet. Even Rocky, even Rocky didn't start off winning, man. Remember what happened in Rocky 1? Split the decision to um, Apollo Creed. So I'm just saying. Alright, let's get you more damage, and now we have unlock head block. Okay, there we go, see? If we're gonna win, we probably have to focus a little bit on blocking, not just going out there and swinging like crazy. I mean, if you guys saw that Cyborg fight versus uh, Amanda Nunez for UFC? Oh yeah, Cyborg wanted to go out there just swinging after an, uh, Amanda Nunez caught her with like a uh, good left. She just started swinging like crazy, no defense, and what happened? Oh, Cyborg went down. Nobody thought Nunez could do it, but she did it. Of course, that's UFC, but still. Um, so that's fine over there. Um, buy radio in the shop, there we go. So now it's going to start asking me or letting me buy some things here. So let's go to the gym shop over here. And we get some radio. What does the radio do for me? Just to give you some music to the game, huh? Alright. So we unlock track number one. Perfect. Can I start buying some things now? I would like to like focus on some other stuff. Oh yeah. That's that 80s music right there, boys. Recruit a scout. So, we gotta get a scout now. Get access to recruitment and sponsorship deals. Okay. So are we looking for more recruits or sponsorships? No. I think we need money. So it's gonna take us 15 days, but do so. There it is. Win five minor fights is now our next big task. So at this point, I think it's going to leave me alone. We got one extra point. I think we definitely do drop that into training boost. Um, What is this going to do? More fight night win money. This will be to get some free agents. Yeah, let's go with the training boost, though. And let's buy ourselves the heavy bag. This will be fast gain for damage. Durability is only one, but hey, what can you do? We're kind of broke. So we'll pick that up. We have the treadmill already. We can also pick up the speed bag for some more speed. The mirror would be damage and speed, but the gain is medium, so it would take a while. Um, HP. Sounds very important too, right? Yes. So, pick those two up right there. Where did they show up? There we go. So we got the, the bag here and weightlifting for HP. Let's go over to the next day. And please, let me get the boost. Like, I think we have it up to like 20% chance for it to pop up, but thus far, no luck. I mean, you're gonna have to be able to take a couple of hits here, but there he is, boost. Oh, but my stamina's almost gone. No! Like, I need that training boost to hit early into the training session so that he goes the entire way. Go through, you know? Send his ass home. I'm, I'm very disappointed in you, Cannonball. Your, your inability to train for such a long period of time is just really hurting our chances over here. You ready for this? Fit for a fight, 100% condition? Let's do it, buddy. What better way to train than by getting into the ring, too, right? Okay. So, he still can block, right? We still haven't, we gotta like, do a couple of these fights, win or lose, whatever, we need the experience so we can start defending. Um, at the moment we're looking at a fight which... Other than speed, it's looking pretty good. He's a swarmer. So he's gonna be swinging very often. He's gonna probably go for the body more than likely, because he's gonna have too much power, I would say. Well, that's the case, we're going straight up strength versus agility here. So, we might miss a lot, 
But we're looking to just knock this bad boy out as soon as possible. All right, Cannonball Tommy. This is it. He's got a really big head. You should be able to knock him out. You cannot miss that big head. Come on, Cannonball. Stop taunting, you idiot. Get him with a swing. One more Cannonball. Get him in there. Neo Fry is down. You got it. You got it, Rocco. I'm sorry, Cannonball. You're not Rocco. You're not Rocky yet. Yeah! My boy Cannonball won his first fight. All right. That's what's up. You got this in the first round knockout, too. Decent performance. You know what? I would say that was an amazing performance. It's a first round knockout, boys. He didn't even get back up. One knockout, he was done. Get a skill point as well. Good job, boy. Let's hook you up here. So what do we want? More damage? Or should we start going for the blocking? You know what? That was a minor fight, so... Uh, against, like, tougher competitors, we're definitely going to need the body blocking and the head blocking. But at the same time, I'm also thinking, with the early fights, hey, as long as we hit, those boys will probably be going down, right? So, let's do some more boxing power over here. You feel like training? Yeah, you do. Let's go over here and get you back on that heavy bag as well. Let me get that boost, too. By the way, how's my scouting coming along? Sponsorship deals? We still, have, we still don't have a... A sponsorship for you, right? Skills, contract, no sponsorship just yet. We have one for the gym, which is good. Gave us a lot of money, but we don't have a sponsor for you. We want to get one of those. You know what? People start taking you more serious, buddy, after that knockout, and if you get yourself a nice little sponsorship deal here. Probably have to deck out your trunks and all sorts of logos and stuff like that, but that's fine, man. That's how you make that money. Cannonball wants to improve his boxer skills. He thinks next step should be to learn defensive ability to head block, protects head from incoming attacks. Sounds good. Okay, so new sponsorship deal is ready to be signed. Let's open this up. So right now we have uh, the pizzeria. The old pizza pie. It would give me $24 a day for roughly two weeks, I would say. Let's continue it. And there it is. So we got a little bit of extra cash coming our way, which is good. It's going to be a day, so it will easily offset the salary that we pay him every single week. Look at you. You're happy about that sponsorship, huh? Hey, uh, you know I'm coming up in the world. We got a first win and uh, we're getting sponsored by the pizza pie. Huh? Yeah, that's right. It's, it's going to be Rocky voice from now on. I'm going to have to give some other people some other voices eventually, but right now this is going to be Rocky the entire time through. Excuse me. Fix that up. Get you back in there. Um. Oh, yeah. Scout. Go and get me another sponsorship because by the time you finish up, my contract will be done. So there it is. Perfect. And we're at 91. I would not be surprised if probably... We are ready to do another minor fight coming up right now. We're just under 2,000 as well. How you doing, Cannonball? 97. What do you think? Want to go for it now? I think we go for it now. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay. Let's fight it out. Who do we got this time? We got Donovan Spencer. This is going to be a swarmer, so we just need to hit those shots, and he should go down. Come on, Cannonball. This is all you hit him in the face. Oh, 16. Oh my god. It's a two-hit KO. No, he's back up. Come on, Cannonball. Don't let him insult you this way. No, don't let him stun you either. Oh, he's gassed out. Hit him. It's a knockout. It's a knockout. Yeah. Did he have died to count to 10? The referee just saw him and he was like, this dude is dead to the world. Stop this fight. It's a masterful victory. Cannonball is coming through. Let me get some skill points. Oh, it's so close for another skill point. Good job, buddy. Look at you. Who turned off my radio? Good job, buddy. How you liking this? How huh? you looking pretty good? Yeah, you're looking pretty good out there. Let's get you some more stamina, though, you know? I'm saying. You have that big stamina. We can have you train for longer periods of time. Make you a master fighter really, really soon. We got to get three more, buddy. Three more minor fights. We'll get you into the rankings already. Okay, so we're ready almost for our third minor fight. But before we do that, we have an event here. Cannonball wants you to arrange a fight versus a top contender in the minor circuit rank. Number four called Spider. This opponent is a brawler style fighter. Spider? That's like one of um, Rocky's um, first um, fights in the gyms. Um, hmm. Look, buddy, I think we're doing really good in the minors right now. I'm not sure. I mean, at least in the, you know, fighting other non competitive fighters. This might be a little bit too above our league, though, but hey, if you're feeling up for it, well, doesn't matter. Apparently, the spider spider's manager doesn't feel like um, we're worth his time just yet. Okay, so you know what? 
Cannonball, I was doubting us at first, but now that this scumbag had the indecency to not even pick up my phone call, he basically just, you know, screened my call and he was like, oh, that's Falcon right there. Or Mr. Falcon Mickey. I gonna have that. So, you know what? Now I'm on your corner. We're at a 21. We have maxed this out for here for a while. Let's go off and do a fight right now. Um, well, your stamina's gone. Okay, let's, let's do the fight tomorrow. Just in case the, that affects your fight. So we'll have one more. And then we'll start wrapping it up. Hopefully, guys, you're enjoying this. If you want to see some more, as I mentioned, let me know in the comments. I'm leaving a thumbs up. I would not mind doing more. Right now, it feels like very like samey, just because we have to kind of build ourselves up. But we still haven't gotten to like the actual fight promotions and the actual big fights when you set up like fights against other competitors. You get to promote fights and stuff like that, which is actually kind of cool. But um, right now, it hasn't happened just yet. But right now, let's go and do our next fight here. Oh, we have it. Oh, here we go. This is what I was talking about. We have an opportunity. Incoming call. Oh, look at that. He basically big leagued me. I called him. He didn't pick up. He was like, nah, 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 nah. I'll call you. And now he's calling me back. Greetings. I am the manager for Valentino Spider Clemens. I have a challenge for your best fighter. Do you want to talk? I feel like big league and be like, nah, it's fine. No, you know, I want this fight though. He's 14 and 0. Okay. He's level 9. <laughs> he's a lot higher level than we are for a fact. This would take place in four days, and even if we lose, we would get some money from just the ticket sales alone. So I'm gonna take this fight, just so we get some money. Okay, and hey, this is what I'm gonna talk about, promoting fights. So you know what? Let's go a little bit longer than usual, just so that I could show you the entire promotion thing. So if we go over to scouting, no, that's not it. I think we have to go to boxing manager, we go to actions now. So we can announce the fight to the press, this will give us a 5% boost. And we also have invite sponsor to the fight. We have our sponsor at the moment, so let's invite him too. So the hype meter for this fight is now 64, which means a lot more people are buying tickets, and then we get some more money that way. Now, it'd be nice if we won. Probably won't happen against Spider, but even if we lose, we'll get a lot of money based on what's happening right now. And for a thousand, we get to do some flyers and posters for a bit more, so you know what? Do it. This should be able to pay itself off too, especially once um, the ticket sales are coming in. So that extra thing that we got, that extra like pressing, boosted our sales by like I think like 150 more. So we're now back up to 2.3k. Uh, VIP at the current sponsor for Cannonball has requested to attend the upcoming fight. They also wanted to help and run an advertising campaign. That's gonna be the, the pizzeria place. Yeah! Up to a 90. Dude, we gotta win this now. We could even put up this and probably even get to 100. For a thousand, let's do it. 97, yo. Yo, ticket sales alone? I, I feel like I'm Don King right now. Ticket sales alone! Yeah, you're gonna see the best buy the, the best boxer in the world. You gotta hit him with the left, hit him with the right. I don't even know how Don King actually talked. Don King was around when I was still a young lad, so even though I knew of Don King, come on, boy. You're ruining my time to get some training. This is my last day. Ladies and gentlemen at the local pub, 483 in attendance to see Cannonball versus Spider. Spider hits like a truck right now. He should win this one easy. Ethan McKenzie from the Daily Sports News. You know what? Ethan McKenzie, I believe in my boy Cannonball. This is my boy Cannonball. He doesn't even have any feet. He's got stumps for legs. But you know what? It's fine. He doesn't eat feet. He doesn't eat feet. He's going to bring down the Spider Clemens guy down. He, who doesn't have feet either? At least we're in the even field. None of us have feet, which is perfectly fine. Okay, so what are we looking at here? Look at his HP. Look at his HP, that's what I told you guys about. That's what I have a feeling we're gonna lose this fight. Don't worry about the body, we need to knock him down. We need to drop that HP as soon as possible. Good luck to you out there, that's all I can say. At this point, it's all on you. Got me in the head, we got that 20. He power punched me, he's just rocking my world. He actually power punched me, which is a skill that drains my stamina completely. You saw that? So that power punch just completely drained us. Not good, we're, we're gonna go down. I guess Ethan McKenzie, um, he knew what he was talking about, huh? Gas him out. Just survive a round. Survive at least one round. Don't make this a complete total losing effort. Okay, we're saved by the bell. Uh, I'll be honest with you here, lads. It's not looking too good for us here. And he's about to fill up his power bar. When this happens, he's gonna basically just send me off to the skies. Cannonball, you survived at least one round against a level 9 character. You know what? You're level 3, he's level 9. I'm actually proud of you. You survived one round. You survive one round. At this point, forget about defending. Just try to knock his block off and get lucky. I doubt it's gonna happen, but hey, 
At least you kind of bruised his lip up. Oh, it's no longer bruised. Oh my god. There it is. No. It didn't knock me out. Hey, you know what? You actually survived that. Can you get back up? Get back up, Cannonball. Come on, kid. He's out. You know what? We survived the second round at least. I'll take a little bit of comfort in that. It's a mediocre fight. Yes, I know. He's level 9. Okay, I'm level 3. Count me a little bit of break here. Spider Valentino. Yeah, 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 I know. I know. Look, buddy, at least you got experience now. You're up to level 4. He's level 9. Don't worry. Don't worry. We'll get to that point. Got a big experience. And let's hook you up over here. Let's start um, also considering an uppercut would be nice. Unblockable heavy attack to the head that stuns and deals 150 damage. And that could be very useful for us, too. But you know what? We gotta start protecting ourselves too when we're fighting. So let's pick that one up right there. And with that, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Boxing School. If you wanna see a bit more, let me know in the comments by leaving a thumbs up. All the information for the game will be down below in the description because you wanna pick it up for yourselves. Comes out on January 10th, if I'm correct. I will catch you next time.